now. The farm important, but for the Queen of Pain, much more so, I think. I got to say, that's a pretty excellent fifth pick from Team Secret. I mean, that was maybe one of the best things they could have done. But remaining. we'll see if it's going to work out. We're about to jump into the game. Sorry for the delay, everybody. We are finally into game number two. The draft is now done. I don't know, man. I haven't seen Groot in a long time, so I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> So KP is in some trouble here, man. He's got a TP scroll, but he's going to oh, slow down. Oh, boy, he's done, though. MP, they secure first blood. Whirling Axe is skilled up for MP, and uh, being aggressive in the enemy jungle gets... Just to walk up the hill. Like, that's what they're... They will lose three bounty runes. They only get one, but they might find a kill here, as you mentioned. Here comes the Frost Arrows, the Ignite, the Swarm. Dual Breath will come out. Puppy still in a whole lot of trouble. It is not first blood. It'll be Kaka to secure it as he has the Swarm take him down. Yeah, no precision aura, so it's going to take a little while for them to get to that point. Now, Dual Breath Kaka in trouble. He doesn't have Scoochie, and they know it. He gets caught in a position. Faith is going to be next. Already, Secret going in. Faith still alive for now. Frost is slowing down MP. There's the Dual Breath. The Absurd needs to get one more auto attack, and he looks like he will find it. He might die for it, though. He's already used the Shadow Walk. Kaka trying to chase him down. The Swarm is up. Mogi is going over there as well, but they don't have boots. They're not fast enough, especially without Scoochie from Kaka, and that'll be that manageable uh, and you know in the mid lane too we talked about the dk maybe not having the best time against the uh queen of pain but for now he's got a cs advantage here yes he is taking a lot of rash but level two dragon's blood is now up which means there's good regen as well as armor so that's something to keep in mind i'm surprised they're not sacking this bottom lane and kind of just keeping the weaver here with the drow whirling axes will go and the dual breath and faith is in even more trouble frost is coming out they don't have they finally have precision aura, but faith is still going to get caught and bashed up by mp now they're chasing Mogi down underneath the tower. U9's going to back himself up and away. This is so, so interesting. Call will come out. Nicely done. AP doing some counter helix prox now down bottom. Here we go. Mogi getting caught. Swarm is there. There's the rolling axes. And again, a death coming out. Fire Blast. Ignite. They're trying to turn onto Puppy. I don't think they're going to get this kill. Maybe with Shikuchi and a couple of auto attacks. But they will lose faith for it. Now Kaka. He does get the return kill, but it's a two-for-one trade, and now the gold is starting to get out of control as Secret get up to 1,500 net worth advantage. The Drow will rotate back down bottom. What about Faith? Man, mid one is not taking any damage from SCCC. He took a Shadow Strike and, like, a couple of auto attacks and literally shrugged it off. He has a lot of armor. And I, also, the Breathe Fire was there, too. It's the damage reduction. You can't forget about that. Pretty significant, actually. Yeah, Gus down bottom, Mogi getting dove as Faith TP's away. So they're trying to find the kill on mid one mid, and they might. There's the swarm. The armor reduction is there. The blink in. A couple more auto attacks should do the job. Good breathe fire, but it's not enough to reduce the damage as SEC and Faith, along with Kaka, will combine up to get the kill. So yeah, they lose Mogi bottom, but it's a very big kill for the mid. Wait, I'm securing your farm because typically when you have Brood Mother, you'll want to rotate up. But with Max has a Vanguard. Oh, here we go. Fight happening. SEC Sonic Wave, but he will go down as Yapto is there. Mid one might trade his life away. The Breathe Fire. Is it going to be enough? They need another at least Ignite, but mid one's still low. Can't fight. Can't quite find this kill. One more auto attack. It's the Fire Blast. It still doesn't get the kill. The auto attacks from Faith. He's not going to get it done. He doesn't have any mana left, and mid one's going to turn and get a double kill. What a turnaround. That DK is so tanky, and Ogre just does not have the damage. Dipping and diving, dodging away. Kaka getting pretty low to a brief fire. Rolling Axis will come out. MP almost hit him. He does. That's probably a kill. Klopp has finally respawned, and this tower already taking a lot of damage from the Elder Dragon form and should fall. Ice Path comes out again. Mid one is not there. He finally comes out. He was looking for the Dragon Tail, but it'll settle for the brief fire kill. Anyway, and uh, with that, it could turn things around. We're going to go back top again. Here's the brief fire. This time they've got mid one. The Elder Dragon form with the Dragon Tail. Brief fire to follow up. There's going to be the Ice Path. A lot of damage. He will use that call. It might keep him alive for a moment. They have another spawn spiderlings. That will secure the kill for Kezu. Kaka rotates up, albeit too late. And uh, that is the biggest net worth hero on Newbie going down. True. Yeah. That, and blink calls are big enough that it could certainly turn things around. But as it stands right now, the call will come out. There's going to be the ultimate from the Bruce Mother as well. The spiderlings are coming in. Nice micro, too. Dust will come out. There's the scream. They actually caught Kezu with it. Sonic Wave to come through. They'll probably get Puppy, but will they get more? They've got the haste move speed coming in from the Calling Blade. And Kezu, though, Dust is still up, but not for much longer. Scream of Pain coming in. They need another Dust. He's now invis. Dust has fallen off. 
and they're pushing mid all the meanwhile. The tier two about to fall. It is done so. They only get Puppy out of that. Yapsor chasing after Faith as well. He's starting to get rich. He's going to Axe game. Wow. And Yapsor feels that good. More tracks coming through. First thing coming out. Ice path to fly through. They do stun Kezu. They also get a dust off. There's the Aegis being picked up by the SEC coming in. Kezu might be in trouble. They need this kill. They're about to find it. Calling Blade. That's a giant pickup. They've also lost Puppy. And now Secret needs to leave. KP. He's got Blink in six seconds. Blink in Screw Pain. Mid one will be taught. At least hit up by the Shadow Strike, but it's not nearly enough. Kaka still chasing after Yapsor. KP deciding not to go for it. Pressuring the side lanes. All right. Newbie do not feel safe at all. And for good reason, another smoke comes out from Secret. This time, they will head over towards the bottom lane. Shaka did a very good job of split pushing that. Of course, trying to get the Aghanim set for the big item. Now they'll jump in. They're going to find Mugi. It's going to be the Macro Pyre, the Ice Path. And boy, is he dead. To make a kill spree for mid one on the DK. And now they're going to work this into a tier three tower push. MP is going to come right up. Good call. Does have Aegis. Good Dragon Tail to follow through. The Orca comes out. The Sonic Wave is there as well. Aegis about to go down. They need a call. And they will find it. Now with Aegis gone, this might be good enough. To really turn things around. We'll see. Backing away some of the creeps, or rather the Fredlings taking some damage. Now jumping in, DK getting caught with another Fire Blast. There's the Shadow Strike, Shrine will come through. I don't know if Secret want to stay here. They will back up slowly but surely, and Mogi has respawned as well. So, a very good hold. They only take about half the HP on the tower. And slowly but surely again, Newbie are starting to get some farm, but again, Secret have such a massive lead right now with 10k. You know, DK is starting to get big. They get some more BKBs, they'll be in a pretty good spot. And we'll see if that's going to be the case. SNY looks like Troll thought about it, and he is flying out, and now he's going to go for Blink DKB next. Um, they're kind of setting up mid. Kuchi comes out, but mid one's already going to back away with a haste rune. No vision for Yapsor. Looks like he will make it away. The smoke that had, I think Faith was using is broken. SCC still is in his. Tezu, they I think they've spotted him. Dust will come out. There's the Orchid. Shadow Strike to follow up as well. And on the other side, Dragon Tail coming out. They're trying to blow up this Weaver. Can he get off the time lapse? He sure can. And scooching away as well. Now can Newbie make it out cleanly is the question. They'd be getting chased down. More rolling axes to come momentarily. Scream of pain. Another Dragon Tail. This axe in trouble. There's the battle trance. Good gust. But KP in trouble. Good call to give him that extra armor. But the spawn spiderlings will finish him off. Along with more damage coming in from Yapsor and the rest of the crew. So, axe now down for 38 seconds. And that might be the biggest thing. That they needed to do to push high ground here. He's gonna get puppy. Nice, but they're losing their two three tower top. The clip has to go. DP's coming out. Cock is nearby. Battle strength going to work. The fervor of MP. There it is. Two three tower finally gone. Yeah, I don't know. 15 seconds without him. This is looking pretty difficult. They're gonna back up for now. Another shrine used for newbie. Scenario, but they just need more, you know. Mm -hmm. They can't fight yet. There's a lot of decent wards coming out here too for Secret to spot out the movements. They will try to find this kill on the troll. It would be huge. Good call. The orc comes out. The sonic wave. They're blowing everything, and they will secure the kill. That's what they needed. A pick like that. That's one, but they need a lot more. Exactly what they need. Any might be a better choice for them. Shrines, like you mentioned, are coming back up. The shrine over towards the right of the mid lane is already back, and of course, behind the mid lane as well. And this is, again, the issue. You know, you could come in, and if you take a fight, you gotta be careful. You need to pull people up pretty quickly. SCC's gonna get caught. There's Dragon Tail. Ice Path comes out. Macro Pyre, and they've already lost the Guap. KP is gonna be next if he's not careful. And even with that Crimson Guard, he is forced to buy back. Still, SCC down for 45 seconds. Very good initiation. The Ice Path follow-up from Puppy is there in this time. They're making it work. They're gonna go again. No. Axe is alive, but they don't have to you paint all the Yeah, they need that damage. Call will miss. Mid one blinks out. Ice cap comes through. That will hit on the axe. Here's the battle trance. MP going to work. They're not gonna push too aggressively. They've gotten the tier three. They can back up, go to Roche. And probably feel successful. End of the game here, Mon. Yeah, it feels a lot like game one, right? Where it was just kind of you know, it started out, and then a slow lead accrued for one team, and then it kind of just ended. Sort of the same thing is happening here, I feel like. Yeah. We are kind of trickling in here for the 
Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, they know where he is. Orca comes out. Roche will come out, but here comes the one great ice pad from Puppy. The macro power to fall the breathe fire. They will get the Weaver. They will get KP. It is a dieback. Dead for 61. SCC, luckily enough, is able to blink out, but everybody else getting chased down. Movie's gonna get dragon tailed up. More breathe fire, whirling axes, fire blast to keep him alive. MP is gonna chase him down, though. Good try in that force. Will still fall. A double kill for MP. Kezu chasing down Faith. Get chewed up by this poor freaking spider. They'll grab a kill. Godlike spree coming in for mid one. And that should just about end it, I would imagine, Brex. Yep, and that's cool. Wow's come out all around. This that is secret. This is a complete U turn from game one. Absolutely. They look 10 times better. And originally, you know, we saw that drought pick up and we're thinking, okay, you know, this a lot of pushing presence from newbies going to come out. They're going to put a lot of pressure on these towers. How are they going to deal with this? Then Kezu grabs up that brood mother and the lane.